Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, connect to your TV using your HTC One phone, basically a screen mirror. So everything that is on the phone, you want that displayed onto your TV or monitor or even projector. Okay, so, and I'm going to be using a device called uh, the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. I'll have an Amazon link below. But basically it's just a dongle that you hook into your HDMI port in the back of your TV monitor or projector. And it also has a port for a USB, which you need to plug that into the back of your TV or plug it into a wall outlet, wherever, but it needs power or it's not going to work. So I have a HTC One. This is an A9 here. The navigation to most of your HTC One phones will be very similar. The thing is you have to make sure that your, in order to um, screen mirror uh, with the HTC One phones, your particular HTC One must be must has a, um, must have a mirror cast feature. In other words, it needs to have a screen mirroring function. Okay, not all of them do, but this is a HTC One A9. This does. Here's another HTC One. This is the M9. This has screen mirroring capabilities on here as well. So let's go ahead and connect it. So let me go ahead and swipe in. So at least with the uh, HTC One um, uh, A9 as well as the M9, you just scroll down like this, and then top right hand corner. See that square icon? Right here, you want to tap on this. Oops, I'm sorry. You want to tap on the, um, the gear icon. So let me scroll down here, tap on the gear icon, and then you want to look for something called HTC Connect. Now, see, every phone has, uh, you know, they call the screen mirroring something else. Is this HTC One or HTC One uh, A9 calls it HTC Connect. If you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, um, depends on which one you have. Some of the early Galaxy models say screen mirror. The older ones say smart view. Other ones it says wireless display adapter. But you have to go, you have to navigate until like display and then go to it. Anyways, this is the HTC One phone here. His, his HTC Connect. So I'm going to tap on that. And then from here, what I do is I can just tap on my phone here. And then you can see I already found the uh, MS Microsoft wireless display adapter right here. And it found my smart TV downstairs. It also found my Roku device in my other room. So anyways, so here it is right here. So I'm going to tap on that. We're going to wait for this to uh, connect. Give it a second here and we'll be in business. Now, the thing that I want to note is, first of all, you do not need a Wi-Fi network in order for this to connect. Okay, because what it uses is not Wi-Fi network. It uses a Wi-Fi direct connection. It's a big difference between the two. So you don't need a Wi-Fi network, but I, I am connected to a Wi-Fi network. Right now you can see the Wi-Fi thing with the arrows up and down. Because I need uh, internet because I want to show you how I can get on YouTube and Netflix. Now if you, if you don't have any internet access, then the only thing that you can do is um, you know anything that doesn't require internet, like your photos and videos stored locally. Maybe you have presentations or documents for work and stuff like that. You won't, as long as it's stored on your phone locally, you're not going to need internet access. So let's do this. So I am connected to internet, so I do have internet. Uh, you can see I'm browsing here through my phone. I can I can go ahead and tap on uh, Google Chrome down here. I can go ahead and browse the net here. But let's do this. Let's watch, uh, let, let me put on YouTube video here. Okay, so... I'll just go ahead and go to one of these videos here. All right, so you want to enable developer options, and this will work for any Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, see, I can raise and decrease the volume using my phone. I can also turn it in landscape here. And let me focus in on the TV. I mean, the clarity is perfect. This TV here is an old TV. This is a 720p. This is about eight years old, Sony TV. It's a non-smart TV, but look at the picture quality on this. And another thing I want to note too is when I increase and decrease the volume, the audio comes out of the TV, guys. So it syncs perfectly with the TV, does not come out of the phone. And let's do this now. Let's uh, let's go to Netflix. Let me tap on Netflix here. Share you just to show you that it works on Netflix as well. Give it a second to uh, load up here, and we'll go ahead and pick a show here. Um, we'll pop on Supergirl. And we'll just watch the second episode here. 
And don't forget, the audio and everything will come out from the, uh, the TV. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. Now, I'm trying to play Netflix, and it's on my phone. It's subtitled on my phone. The thing is on my TV. The picture is not showing. And s with some devices, this is what happens. But, for example, I just used my Samsung Galaxy. I did a video on my Samsung Galaxy S5, how to hook it up, and I was able to watch this on my TV. But my HTC One, I'm not able to connect. And I do know that there's some kind of, like, copyright. Sometimes, like, it doesn't work or it does work. Uh, but at least with this HTC One phone, I'm not able to watch it here. Well, let me go ahead and let's go ahead and try a game here. Let me jump into a game. I'll give this a second to load up. I haven't played this one in a while. Again, audio, everything comes out directly from the TV. All right, and there will be a little bit of lag. It's not going to be perfect, guys. I mean, you're going to have to look really close between look between my TV and my phone. Wow, it is. I mean, it's really hard to tell. You have to look really, really closely. If the game is too gra graphic intensive, you're definitely um, it's really going to have issues because of the the half a fraction of a second lag. And of course, you know, like I said, the volume too, everything is gonna come out. I'll raise the volume up for you. Let me go ahead and try to move this over. Look between the phone and the TV. Okay, I think you guys got the uh, the message here. And of course, I put my phone to sleep. Uh, this is the the, the TV is going to go to sleep as well. See, it's locked right now. Now, in order for me to go back in here, I have to slide in, and then we're back into business. So, if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, just comment below, and I'll help you guys out. And if you guys subscribe, share, like this video, that'd be great too. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.